Hey everyone, welcome back to Adventures with Edna. I'm Chris. I'm Chance. And today we're taking a major trip in the rain. This will actually be the furthest we've ever gone with Edna in a video. Maybe the furthest trip we've taken in Edna, but I can't remember for sure. Uh, but anyway, today we're headed to North Carolina to go to... We are going to the Road of Nowhere. The Road of Nowhere? <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to head up uh, North Carolina to the road to nowhere. Uh, from what I read, uh, it was a government project where uh, they bought, the U.S. government bought a bunch of property from North Carolina to put into a highway that I believe was supposed to be about 40 miles long, and they only got six miles into it and stopped. So it's six miles of, of road to nowhere. Uh, there's also a really cool tunnel that goes through a mountain, so we're excited about going up there and checking it out. So, let's get started, because we got a lot of driving to do. Mm-hmm. A lot. When we say a lot, we mean a lot. <laughs> so we're headed up 26 now. I don't think I'm going to do a lot of hyperlapsing in this video. Uh, I might have a chance to kind of point the camera around in some good spots because now that it's fall, uh, once we get into North Carolina we should start seeing like a whole lot of, uh, uh, you know, pretty trees changing colors and stuff. So this is going to be a pretty good drive. Um, we're about five miles from the North Carolina border. Uh, once we get into North Carolina we're going to start climbing up into the mountains into the steepest part of uh, 26 which Chance and I did in Edna before, before we started our channel. We drove all the way up to Asheville, North Carolina and went to the entrance of the Biltmore House. Uh, we actually videoed it, but we didn't make it into an actual video like for YouTube. Uh, we just posted it to uh, Facebook at the time, which is one of the, where we kind of got the idea for our channel. kind of got lucky going up there last time because Edna doesn't have a lot of power going into the hills like into the mountains and stuff but last time we kind of got lucky that nobody slowed us down because she doesn't do too bad as long as you can keep your momentum going but if you have to slow down she'll lose all her power uh, so hopefully we'll get lucky on this trip and we'll make it up the hill okay so we'll see as we get closer also, the, uh, the rain was coming down pretty good when we were in Spartanburg. It's supposed to be raining up here, too, only it's, it's not as bad uh, up there. The, like, I think it's like 90% chance of rain in Spartanburg, and I think it was like 50 or 60 uh, when we get up closer towards Bryson City. So the rain should get a little better. Uh, I just turned off the windshield wiper because it's not really raining much right through here. Carry on. All right, so we've made it into North Carolina now. Uh, we're kind of going down our first big hill. So I'll slow down a little bit just to kind of stay safe. Uh, we're not in any real rush to get there. Uh, the, the weather, you know, I, was, I, said it, I said a minute ago that the rain was getting better and then all of a sudden it started pouring again but now we're back to where there's no rain so it's probably going to be on and off the whole trip uh, we are we've got a pretty good ways to go but like I said we're not in any rush uh, we're just enjoying the scenery and the drive uh, when we get towards Asheville I'm probably going to have to turn the GPS on because I really don't know my way once we kind of get past Asheville. I can get to Asheville pretty well on my own. But after that, uh, I don't remember exactly how to get there. I only looked at it on uh, Google Maps a couple times. Uh, so we're going to, once we get up there, we're going to GPS. Uh, the last sign I saw for Asheville said we're about 45 miles out. I think we've gone a couple more miles since then. Uh, so we got a little ways to go. Kind of looks like the trees are turning more looking really pretty up through here. There's a lot of fog, so you can't quite see the mountains real well. We've got our 
mighty wiper chugging along. Look up there, Chance. See all the fog going across the mountain and the trees? I think we'll just turn the camera like that way. You guys can see more of the tree action. It's still going way downhill at the moment. But we're slowing down a little bit because we don't be safe. We're cruising about, I just slowed down to about 45. We were doing about 60. Uh, and then we're going up our first huge hill. So this is where we're going to get Edna to the test. You can see up ahead that it starts going way up. go into some fog. Uh, cars are passing us, but they're really not, they're not passing us like super fast. Yeah, it's starting to go downhill up here, so this is just temporary. We're now doing 30 miles an hour with the pedal to the floor. disappear. Uh, we're back up to 40 miles an hour now and I've started letting off the gas a little bit so I'm not struggling as bad now. I think that's actually the worst part of it if I remember right. Yeah we're still picking up speed even as I continue to let off the gas. 
the fog is thick. Where's this historic downtown Saluda right there? Yeah. That's where we parked the truck when we went to the Saluda grade and walked the railroad tracks. So when we come back, we might get off right here back home that way just so we don't have to go down the steep grade might be a little late on fall a lot of the trees have lost their leaves through this part well we made it to Hendersonville when it's not raining and I'm only driving uh, I get water that runs down the emergency brake handle there and right onto my foot so that foot's all wet and even though I replaced the gasket that goes around the cowl vent sometimes it leaks so that's getting on my foot and then Chance got a leak from the same thing on this side We've got that going for us. More importantly, we finally made it off 26, which is good. I stopped filming after we got through the mountains because there got to be so much uh, so much construction through there that the drive really sucked because there was a lot of bouncing over, you know, shifting lanes and traffic got heavy and there was an accident. And that wasn't a lot of fun, so we... didn't film any of that. So once we hit Asheville, which we just passed, we are uh, now headed towards Canton, North Carolina. Uh, so we're getting closer. I think we might make a stop soon. Stretch our legs a little bit. We've been driving for a little less than two hours, so it's taking longer to get there than uh, the GPS initially said. We've got some sun now, but it's still raining. Newfound Road.
there surely, slowly but surely. Uh, there is a, look at that old truck. We are somewhere near Maggie Valley, I think, because I think that one of the signs we saw. Never been to Maggie Valley, that's a big horse. Uh, we're gonna be pretty close to Bryson City, which is popping up on this sign we're about to pass. It's got blocked by that truck. Uh, it's kind of a little mountain town. You ever see a mountain town before, Chance? No. This is a mountain town. Uh, we're getting closer. We are... I think about 30 minutes away. I don't think the drive back is going to be great. I-40 was bottlenecked into one lane for several miles uh, for construction. So we might get hung up in that on the way back. Would you want to live up on a mountain like that? No? Afraid of falling off? Officially on the road to nowhere. It came up on us kind of quick because the GPS ends where the road ends. So the sign that said road to nowhere, we passed it and we've got this, this Jeep behind us. Uh, so I couldn't just stop and turn around and there's not really anywhere to turn around. So we're driving it now. Smoky Mountains right now. I might have to go off of memory on this, but I think, that, I don't remember when the road was started, like the 30s or 40s or something, and the federal government paid North Carolina, and the people that were living in this area got kind of moved out of the area. I guess they got some money to move and taken out of the area, and, you know, then they got six miles into this project, and I forgot why they quit. It might have had something to do with World War II, um, and then... They never got it done, and then in the early 2000s, uh, the federal government ended up giving a bunch of money back to the state for not having finished the road. And then I think it said in 2018, the government finished paying North Carolina back. So I guess that's all settled now.
all the leaves falling. It's almost like it's raining leaves. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty view out there. When we were driving by, I just saw some people videoing us. Did you? Yeah, I saw them.
it. We're at the end. We gonna need the panchos? Nah, I don't think we're gonna need them. Should we get our hoodies? I don't feel too hot on mine. I don't think I need it. We made it. Oh, yeah. this way. Strips. <laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm. We're here. We're at the end. We're not the only ones here. I see the tunnel. Yeah. There's the tunnel up ahead. Does that say Colin? Oh man, we should have brought a sticker. Noah's Outdoor Adventures. Now there's more. Why didn't you bring a sticker? So technically the road hasn't ended yet. I mean, sort of. No, the road hasn't ended yet because we're still walking on the road. Yeah. So it's not over yet. that sign right there but I didn't read it so good but I think it but I think it said there's 30 trails right here oh wow I'm actually so excited to get in there yeah look how dark it is you think it's gonna be scary in there no because I'll be with you You can already kind of see the spray paint. Are people allowed to spray paint on this stuff? No, people just do it though. Why? They think it'd make it look cool, even though it wouldn't. Yeah. The point it leaves is falling. It goes right into the mountain. Do you think in the summertime there's a lot of snakes over here and stuff? Don't know. Like in, th like in there and stuff? It says wrong way. Whoop, whoop. Here, let's take a picture. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Oh, it's a long tunnel, see? Yeah. Because you can see their shadow. I can't even tell if they're coming back or if they're coming this way. Or, well, going that way or coming back. Can you tell? Do they look like they're coming back or, or going? Know. To me, it looks like they're coming back. Like coming over here this way. You think it's gonna smell weird in there? I don't know, I've never been in there. Look how much of that, what, is it called moss? Yeah. Look how much is on it. Here, turn around. It looks like you'd skateboard in here. Dad, usually this stuff looks like you'd always skateboard in here. Look how much spray paint's in here. Yeah. I go. Yo, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hello. Let me try jumping up. Did you gonna jump up? <laughs> that was like the worst jump you've ever done. It's wet. Is but it not gross? Like, but it's not like spray paint wet. That looks so weird. It's cold in here. Yeah. Doesn't it seem cold in here? Yeah, maybe we should have brought in our hoodies. Right? It doesn't seem near as doesn't seem near as dark when you take your sunglasses off. It's getting colder. It's like night mode in here. I know. 
Man, it's cold in here. Not quite halfway through yet. My teeth are shivering, Dad. See? <laughs> Grandpa would freeze. <laughs> He's always so cold. Chase is getting dark. Look, you can't even see the spray paint anymore. I can't see my hand. This is my hand. Hopefully we don't accidentally trip or something, right? I would say we're halfway now, Dad. Dad, you think we're halfway now? Mm -hmm. No, not quite, because it still looks smaller right there. <laughs> no, turn it back off. It makes it cooler. It makes it cooler? Yeah. This is so cool. Dad, look at my shadow. <laughs> Your eyes look funny. Look at me. Your eyes are glowing. <laughs> Dad, I want to try making an animal. Let me get back in the light. Let me look at the ground. I don't think it's paved anymore. Dad, Dad look at the ground. Well, not really, at least. Dad, look at the ground. <laughs> Dad, do you think we're halfway yet? Yeah, I think so. and I ran that far. Hmm? It still doesn't even look I'm that close and I ran that far. Among Us! Among Us! Dude, it's totally sus. <laughs> what do you think's on the other side? And under Among Us. Among Us, sus. <laughs> <laughs> how to get so, how is it so cold in here? I don't know. Now you can say you've walked through a mountain. We've almost made it, Dad. Yep. Dad, look behind you. Look how small it looks. I like the tunnel. You like the tunnel? Yeah. It's really fun. Among, among Us with an X on it. Ew. On these leaves, it got muddy, it seems like. Yeah, ew. Dad, look at this. Dad, look. Should I climb up that? Dad. Look, it's our trail. Yeah. Can't you tell? Want to go up? Hopefully I'm not near a snake or something. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this could be the, um, this could be the, like the picture of when you pay, when you choose the video you want to watch. You think so? Mm hmm, maybe. Should I get on the top one or something? Yeah, sure. He made it. Am I high? That's kind of high. Imagine falling off of this. You think I would die? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. It actually goes higher. Look, when you get over to the other side, it's higher. Should, should I get over there? If you want. There's spray paint up here too. Like all of this and stuff. There's more. <laughs> and I'm coming back down. You didn't want to go to the highest part? It's pretty out there. It's kind of like walking the railroad track, except you're on a road. Yeah, it looks like it was paved here. Walking the abandoned row road jack. Walking on the abandoned road street track. Did you take a, pi a video up there? Well, a picture while I was up there? Yeah. Cause that kind of sh should that be our picture? You don't want to use the one of us standing in front of it? I can't hear you because of all the leaves cracking. All right, what'd you say? I said you don't want to use the one of us standing in front of the tunnel. I don't know. That goes down a little ways, doesn't it? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Throw it in the air? I don't know. Maybe on you. <laughs> hey. I guess this is pretty much where it is. Dad, you could make like billions of leaf piles out here, couldn't you? Dad, look, this leaf's as big as my face. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the road. After that, it's just trail. We're officially nowhere. Dad, we have to find the no nowhere. We're nowhere now. Where are we? If we're in the nowhere, there's no then... more pavement. Like after. If in the nowhere. If the pavement then... pretty much just ends right here, just a little ways past the tunnel. So I guess that's it, and then. After this, it's just trail. I don't know how far the trail goes. Well, Dad, if, it, if we're in the middle of nowhere, then where are we? Because if we're in the middle of nowhere, then we kind of... Well, you almost can't even see the trail. It goes like down there and then starts going back up there. We don't even know where we are right now because we're nowhere. We're nowhere. Deep down there. Well, Dad, let's go find more nowhere.
you think we're gonna get higher than the clouds? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I hurt my legs. How so you hurt your legs? So tiring. All right. So we're on the trail. Still, I'm gonna look at all this view. Down here, it's a really nice view too. You can see everything down here and up there. Let's keep on going. If you're wondering where my dad is, he's checking out the view, looking down at the mountains. He'll catch up, but we're going to switch over the camera to him. Jump off this. Should I? Go ahead. I don't know. It seems kind of dangerous because I look high. There is a lot of rocks at the bottom. Are there any near me? Like well, where, where this The way was? you got to do it is you got to kind of like not hit in that area where the rocks are. You want to land on the trail, but you also don't want to jump off the mountain. Uh, that's hard. All right, three, two, one. He's dead. What? Did you say he dead? He's dead. That was actually crazier than I thought. <laughs> I, I thought I was just going to, no, this is too scary. I'm not doing it. You want to go further? That to you. Don't want to end up down the mountain. Looks like there's another sign. Don't fall in that hole. Dad, I'm gonna throw it. Throw it. Huh. Oof. Oh, man, too fast, too fast. Too fast. Don't fall down the mountain. Too fast. <laughs> Gold Mine Loop Trail. Let's go to Gold Mine Loop Trail. Well, that's a mile that way, and the other one is two miles that way. We're a half mile, or a little over half mile from the tunnel. Hmm. I don't know. Ah! It's a pretty view. Falling down the mountain. What was that? <laughs> like there's, there's a house up on top of that mountain. I don't think I can get the camera in on it though. No, not really. How far can we go? There it is. I got it. There's a house right there. Oof. <laughs>
This is another spot you don't want to fall down. Run all the way to you. <laughs> There's some great views up here. You see all kind of yellow trees and stuff in the distance there. Where? Oh yeah, cool. Did you hear that? Mm hmm I dare you to scream again. How you doing? Hey. Dad, I dare you to scream again. You gonna do it? Yeah. yeah why? It's embarrassing when there's people around. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you think they're going to be asking you if you're okay? Could be. You can barely see the trail down there. It kind of yeah. goes around there and then you can see it kind of loop back that way. Yeah. I can tell. It's a very, very small trail. Hey. Do you answer back to them? Yeah. Listen, how you doing? Uh. This is the trail before we get back to the tunnel. Right here. Right? Yeah. See that other trail down there? Yeah. So we're headed back to Edna now. Um, we're gonna go back through the tunnel. I think I'm going to make two videos out of this because it was a pretty long drive getting here and this is probably the more exciting part of the video us finally arriving at the destination and checking everything out but there was a lot of down the hill or down the mountain driving on the last part of this journey um, so, Edna ran flawlessly getting out here. Um, just a few areas where it was kind of steep and she slowed down a lot. But getting out of here, it's going to be a lot rougher because the, you got to go do a lot of steep uphill to get out of here. Um, not to mention, uh, when we were going down I-40, there's a part where they're doing road construction and they've got the road bottlenecking into a single lane for several miles, so that's gonna slow us down. So I don't suspect we'll get back home until after dark. It's about 2.40 now. So I think we've been here almost an hour. So well, we've been in the mountain for an hour. Like driving and stuff. What do you think of this adventure? It's really fun. Does still not my favorite video though, <laughs> but it's still really fun. Still really fun. It was a. Was it worth the drive? Yeah, and yeah. it was it was a fun adventure. Seeing all these new places, we've been on, we've never been on that road before, so that's a new thing we've done. All right, we're we're getting back on the road again here. Got so much quieter. The leaves. Everybody disappeared. Pretty epic journey for Edna. This was a tough ride. She's not used to all this mountain driving. You hungry? 
Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna stop by the McDonald's again, right? Yeah. Get ourselves some lunch. Cause that's what you do. We haven't you, had. You drive out to nice new places you've never been before. And then you go to McDonald's. True story. Thing is, we haven't had any lunch. We've only had snacks and breakfast. Yeah, we had a good breakfast. And it's been nothing but snacks ever since. Yep going to all these gas stations. Yeah, it's only been two, hasn't it? Yeah. All right, Just coming back up on the tunnel. Don't turn on your light this time. Don't turn on the light this time? Yeah, it's funner when, you're, when it's dark. All the time in tunnels, they always put spray paint there. You think so? Yeah. Who just comes out here with a can of spray paint? Well, wouldn't people see you spray painting though? Seems like it. All these gnats keep getting into my eyes and stuff. I wonder what the distance through the tunnel is. Doesn't seem that bad when you first get into it. But then it gets dark. Really dark. Like it seems bright right now. Woo! Getting darker. Scared. Kids playing with lights and stuff in here. Ah! It's getting cold again. Yeah. It's funny how it seemed so bright earlier. Yeah, and then it's, now it's like all it's dark again. I dare you to close your eyes for five seconds open them back up and it looks like it just like it looks like you're walking to heaven like it's it's like here so it's like you're in the dark then you look ahead and it's like it's bright <laughs> the light we're not halfway yet i don't even have to look at the ground i'm just looking straight because it's too dark to even look at it, so just look straight. I can barely even see you, Dad. Yeah, it's dark. We are, and we are wearing dark clothes. True. The, only, the brightest thing on me is probably my shoes. Because I have red shoes on. Everything else on me is black. Like even my socks are black. We're at the half point because they both look like the same size. What's that? I think we're at the half point because they both look like they're at the same size. Yeah, I think you're right. But I think we're now closer to the beginning. The least funnest part about this trip is going like back light, home. It's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. The least funnest part about this um, trip is going to go back, is going back home. Because once you're done with your trip, you just want to be done with your trip. Right? Yeah. I wonder if the video is going to sound weird in here when we're, because we're talking and it's all echoey in here. Yeah. Because it's like if you say yeah, you're saying yeah five times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen any Among Us characters, but I think they were all back there. Remember? Somebody was playing oh, that right game. Right Tic tac toe in here. <laughs> it's getting. Uh, it's not as echoey anymore. Yeah. Yep. It seems all light now. It's funny when you get here, it doesn't even look. It looks like it's light all the way through, but then you get to the middle and it's not light at all. Dad, look. Echo? No echo. Echo? Echo. Echo? Echo. 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 Woo! Dad, look at that dragon. <laughs> Got all muddy right there. <laughs> Maybe it was raining while we were in the tunnel. It was like, it was like, it was like, there was nobody and suddenly somebody like, it was like, oh my god. So this is about as close as Edna was to getting to the tunnel itself. I don't know why it started shifting like that, it was weird. So, I made it back to Edna. Uh, like I said, this is as close as we could get to the tunnel. I, was, I would have liked to have gotten a picture of her right in front of it, but they've got it coned off and these big rocks over here, so we couldn't quite get there. So, we're going to head back out of the park now. Uh, we're going to do some more filming and get another video. So, if you want to see that one, we'll have that up probably a day or two after this one posts. Uh, what did you think of the whole... Fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so we're getting out of here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching Adventures with Edna, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>